Yemen's armed forces have successfully targeted an Israeli vessel in the Gulf of Aden, as well as the port of Eilat in the southern part of the occupied territories in fresh pro-Palestinian operations. The forces spokesman Brigadier General Yahya Sari announced the operations in a video statement on Thursday. He identified the vessel in question as MSC Darwin, saying the target was struck with a number of appropriate missiles and several drones, successfully achieving the operation's objectives. Sari said the Yemeni forces had also fired several ballistic and cruise missiles at a number of Israeli targets in Eilat. The statement came only a day after the spokesman announced that the forces had targeted two American vessels and an Israeli one in solidarity with Palestinians in the Gaza Strip, who are enduring a United States-backed Israeli war of genocide. More than 34,300 Palestinians have been killed and over 77,200 others wounded in the war that the regime began on October 7, 2023, following a retaliatory operation by the Palestinian territory's resistance movements. The brutal military onslaught enjoys unreserved military and intelligence support on the part of the U.S. Washington has also vetoed several United Nations Security Council resolutions calling for a ceasefire in the war. According to Sari, the Yemeni armed forces affirm their continued support for the Palestinian people by blocking Israeli navigation or navigation to the ports of occupied Palestine in the Red Sea, the Arabian Sea and the Indian Ocean. Fighters from the Lebanese Hezbollah resistance movement have conducted a series of operations targeting several Israeli military positions in the northern part of the 1948 occupied territories with various munitions, including explosive-laden combat drones. Lebanon's al Mayadeen television news channel reported that the report struck a gathering of Israeli troopers close to the al Daira military site on Thursday afternoon with a salvo of rockets. The projectiles hit the designated targets precisely and left casualties among the forces, the report said. Later in the day, Hezbollah fighters carried out a drone strike against the Ain Margaliot military base in response to Israeli crimes against civilians in the southern regions of Lebanon. Hezbollah artillery units also shelled a group of Israeli soldiers as they were entering the al Malikia post. Moreover, the resistance fighters launched guided missiles, artillery shells and rockets at an Israeli military convoy near Ruwaisat al-Alam outpost on Kwar Shuba Hills. Two armored vehicles were destroyed as a result. The Israeli regime has repeatedly attacked southern Lebanon since October 7th, when it launched a genocidal war on Gaza that has killed at least 34,305 Palestinians, most of them women and children. In retaliation, Hezbollah has launched near-daily rocket attacks on Israeli positions. At least 380 people have been killed on the Lebanese border, including 72 civilians. Hezbollah has already fought off two Israeli wars against Lebanon in 2000 and 2006. The resistance forced the regime to retreat in both conflicts. 